In this video, I'm going to show you how to export slow motion clips with individual clips in DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, today not a fancy studio, but also not on the rooftop because it was so windy. So we're going right into the DaVinci program where I will show you how you can use the individual clip exporting settings to create multiple stock clips and export them in one and not like in Premiere where you have to always create nest clips and then go from each to each clip. So this in DaVinci with individual clip exporting settings are pretty good. But if you have slow motion, you need to do some hacks there, make sure that you do the right settings that you not mess up all this and your slow motion clip is not slow motion. So let's go into it. So if you have stock footage and you want to create, let's say, multiple clips and you want to export them as individual clips, I just show you this quickly before we go deeper. You have to go here on the export settings on delivery to individual clips and then you go on files. And as you see here, it's important to check mark use unique file names and also suffix or prefix, which means prefix is they're putting a number at the beginning of the name and suffix is like at the end. So it's like 001 and the next clip is 002. Otherwise it would overwrite all the time uh, the clips. So that's actually all. Um, you write in like stock footage, for example, or just stock, that's all. Make sure if you upload in stock, export audio should be off. Then you go to the video settings. Video settings, usually you export in ProRes 422. If not, then you just choose H264 and then like 4K. And I use always what the camera can do in bitrate, which is for the Sony A1 is 100 Mbit, which are like 130,000 kilobits. Then I leave it on audio and that's how I export. If I would click now on export, so it says here, 72 clips will be exported. So that's actually all, that's pretty cool, right? But a main problem is if you film footage in slow motion, but your camera is not creating automatically slow motion clips for 30 frames or 24 frames timeline. So you have to do a little hack here. So now we're going to the editing page. I have a other project here. As you saw the intro, when I was jumping, I recorded this in like 30 frames with the normal torque. So this is a clip here which my camera filmed in 120 frames per second, but converted in 30 frames. This is the 30 frames in normal. And then I have another one which I filmed here with 120 frames per second. So if I move this in now in my 30 frames timeline, what it does, it's like in real time. So one thing you can do is change clip speed. So we're doing this with pressing R in DaVinci and then you type in for 120 frames per second clip, slowing down to a 30 frames per second timeline. I'm using usually a calculator on sapstudio.net. So then you type in your frame rate from your clip, which is 100 19.88 which is 120 frames per second and then the project frame rate is 30 so it says me i need to slow it down 25 percent to have it very smooth so i press r for changing the speed then type in 20 percent and then make sure you press or tick ripple timeline what it does is it's expand the clip in your timeline. So if you press change, now you have a super slow motion clip from the jumping part at the beginning. But now when you want to export the clips, right? You set an in and out point. Then you go to the delivery page where you click to individual clips. Make sure the audio is off. So video is set and it is ticked as unique and suffix. So stock again. And now we're pressing on add to queue. So there are three clips, right? So once we're exporting these clips, you will see there's one clip in slow motion. Yes. The other one is in real time. And the one we just changed the speed, what you see right now is not in slow motion. So I don't know why this is in DaVinci. It's not recognizing it as a speed clip. So actually there are two options what you can do. Like option one is change the clip attribute from your clip. So you're going from 120 frames per second to straight away to a 30 frames per second. So you can drag and drop it to your timeline and then you have straight away a 120 frames slow motion clip. Option two is you create compound clip so that it goes into a, like a little nest, what you know maybe from Premiere Pro or in general, this is what you can do here with your color grading. If you have some effects, layers, mask or anything on it, you always need to make sure that you put it in a compound clip. Then it works with individual clips. 
but I will show you this right now as well. So option one is changing clip attribute. So you have here the clip which says it's 120 frames. You import it in your media pool, but then you go on right click and you go on clip attribute. Once you have this, you go to frame rate and say frame rate 30 frames per second, and then you press OK. This will change everything in your timeline if you already implement the clips in your timeline. So, but now, I'm going there, click I already set in and out points here. Now I only want to have the slow motion part here. And I'm not slowing down this clip because it's now already slow motion because I changed the clip attribute and this is a game changer. So changing clip attributes, I'm usually do this when I'm filming with my drone, when it's uh, 100 frames per second clip or 120 frames per second clip, and it's not slowing down to a 30 frames timeline or as well my Sony a7 III, then I'm using the clip attributes here. So now I also have to delay this clip because it's not the right timing because it's like the old clip. So now you see it's slow motion, then you click an out point, go to delivery, do the same, call it stock tour, export again. So now you see this clip is also in slow motion without creating a compound clip, only with changing the clip attributes. Option two is creating compound clip. So it's special if you're creating speed ramps, you have to do compound clip. There's no other way around. So if you have a clip, a stock clip, which is fast, slow, fast, then you have to create a compound clip, which I will show you right now as well. So you have to slow down this clip, right? It's slow motion. Then you press right and you go on new compound clip. So we call it slow. So this is actually all. So you won't see it exported again as a compound clip. So what you can see now, it is in slow motion and it's the real slow motion. So this is very cool, right? So okay, now I'm showing you how you can create speed ramps and also how to put it in a compound clip so you can export this clip for your stock. So we have this clip here and I added two mark points here. So what I do at first is I press command shift and R for getting the read time curve and then command R for getting the read time controls. Make sure to change to a read time speed and remove the read time frame. With pressing option and click on the point here, you make a key point. Then you go to the next point. You press option and click here to make another keyframe. And then you speed the front down to 400%, the end part to 400%, and the mid part to 25%. To smoothen the keyframe, you click on this little point and click this button here, which created then a better key point and smoothen everything out and it's not so harsh from the speed. As you can see now, it goes from fast, slow to fast, very smooth. You can also speed up the front and the end part to 800 to make it even faster. And that's actually all. Once you're done with your speed ramp, you right click on the clip, then create a new compound clip, say create, set an in and out point, go to the delivery page, and you let's say you create individual clips and then you export and the clip will be smooth and you have a nice slow motion part and also the speed ramp works very well with multiple clips in your timeline. So a little summary, what you want to do if you film slow motion clips with your camera, but your camera is not creating automatically 30 frames or 24 frames timeline for this clip. What you have to do then in your editing program in DaVinci Resolve, for example, you have option one, changing the clip attributes from 120 frames per second to 30 frames per second. Option two is if you import the clip in the timeline and then you change the speed and then you have to create compound clip. When you do speed ramps, always do compound clip. It's better and you can also render in place. So it will definitely help to not make any changes in the timing or your speed ramp is not working. So that's the best solution to create a bunch of clips in one timeline with real time, slow motion or speed ramps and then export 100 clips out in once without creating a couple nest clips, compound clips or whatever. It's only if you create speed ramps or you're not doing this clip attribute. I'm usually not doing anything of that because my camera can convert straight away to a 30 frames timeline. That's the best way. Once again, the summary for the export settings is make sure you have for stock no audio. Second, you go to intuitive clips. Third, you choose use unique file names and then choose the pre and the suffix, one of them. And then you export and then you're happy. And make sure you have the right settings for the bit rates and everything so your footage looks nice. I also link down below the sapstudio.net where you can calculate the clip frame rate to your timeline frame rate and you see how much percentage it is to slow down the clip.
So now you know how to export multiple slow motion clips with the Injurator clips in DaVinci Resolve and not seeing the slow motion footage as like a real time, literally as a slow motion. And yeah, if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that means a lot. And then see you in the next video. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.